Welcome to the homework for second grade module one. This is lesson three. Get your name on there first before. Now uh, I try to keep my videos short, so there's going to be times where I'm just I'm going to have to rush it. Uh, and if that happens, or if I'm skipping some steps, uh, I try to explain it at least the first few times in a section. Uh, so if if I, if I start rushing it, then just pause it, go back over the part where I explained how to do it, and see if you can apply it to the, to the rest of the problems. And, of course, you can feel free to, to go back over the stuff you want or skip ahead. We're just going to solve some problems similar to the ones we did for Lesson 2 homework. But now things are kind of mixed up. Before we had sets where we were adding to tens or we were um, looking for missing add-ins, and now... We're looking for to we're looking for some totals because we have some addition problems, but now we also have some subtraction problems too. <clears throat> sometimes we're subtracting tens, sometimes we're subtracting ones. So we'll just try and work with the digits. Uh, if you're good with using the digits, then this might go by pretty quickly for you. And even if you're using quick tens, it's not going to be that much harder, that much slower. So if you're still counting. Uh, if you're still counting on to do these addition problems, you can still you can draw the quick tens and count. So 20 is going to be 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's 20, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. And you can solve all of them that way if you're if you're doing all this counting. But really try to use the digits if you can. Uh, because if you, if you recognize the digits, 20 and 7, 27, two tens, seven ones. If you're using the digits, you're going to be able to work with larger numbers. It's going to be a lot easier for you. 20 and 70. Now we're just adding tens digits here, right? Two tens, and then seven more tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you just count all the tens, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Or you could have seen that you have two tens and seven tens. That's going to be 90. Or you could have counted on 70, 80, 90. All those ways would have worked. Now here we're just adding the ones digits. 2 plus 3 is 5. So we have still have 60, but now we have 65. And here we have 62 and 30. We're going to add this 3. If we're using the digits, we're going to add that 3 to that 6, and we get 9. So we have 9 tens, but we still have the 2 ones and the 0 ones, so it's just 2, 92. And that's how you use the digits for those. Now you can just draw, you just draw, draw the quick tens and count if that's what, if that's what uh, works for you. But really, just try to use the digits, and uh, if it... it practice it a little bit, it'll start making sense to you. You're really going to have to do it to be able to work with larger numbers. So 80 minus 20. So that's 8 tens minus 2 tens. That's 6 tens, and 6 tens is 60. 85 minus 2. Now we're not subtracting any tens, and we can take away 2 ones from 5 ones, and we have 3 ones left. We still have the 8 tens, 83. Well, that trick doesn't always work, but you have to have enough ones Right here, if this was 81 minus 2, you wouldn't be able to do that. So, maybe I shouldn't skip it. But if you have 85, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I have the 5 ones, I can cross out 2 ones and still have 3 left. So, maybe you should be careful with those and draw the quick tens. And here we're not subtracting any ones, because we're just subtracting tens, two tens in 20. So 80 from 20 is 60, we'll still have the five ones left. And then this 86 minus 20, and just to show you for an example, if we, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens, and then six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six ones, and we're going to subtract 20, that's two tens, right? So that's that's these two tens right here. And you can just count what's left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 
And this is 6, right? It's still 6, so it's 66. And now part C. We're adding tens, 30 and 40, 70. It's 3 tens plus 4 tens is 7 tens, 7 tens is 70. And 31 and 40. So you might see the similarity between these two. You're going to see this a few times in this section. This is 30 plus 40. This is 31 plus 40. It's the same problem almost. It's just one more. So the total is one more. And that's a mental trick that you can use if you get good at it. You won't always notice that you can do it, but when you can, it really can save you a lot of work. Here's 35 plus 4. You can add that 5 plus 4 is 9 and you have 39. And that's only going to work because you're not making another 10 when you add those 1s. So if you had that 1, 2, 3, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with quick 10s, and then you add the 4 more, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can't bundle these to make another 10. It's only 9. So you have the 3 10s, 30, and the 9, 39. Now we have 45 and 30. You're not adding any 1s here because it's 0 for the 1s digit. You're just adding 10s. So you've got 45, 3 more 10s, 75. Now we're doing subtraction. 7 10s minus 3 10s is 4 10s, and 4 10s is 40. Now you could just you could draw the quick 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then... Cross out these three and count the tens left. 10, 20, 30, 40. 75 minus 30. So you notice this is almost the same problem, except you start with five more in your menu end here. You start with five more, but you're still subtracting the same amount. So if you start with five more, you should end up with five more. 45. And that's the mental trick for that one. And if you draw it in quick tens, it's going to look almost the same. You're just going to have... You're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to look just like this part up here where you cross out the three tens, and now you just have you just have this, these five more ones. You still have the same four tens left over. You just have the five more ones that you started with. And this 78 minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So again, we get rid of those three, and then we have these seven tens, right? Seventy, and these five ones, seventy-five. And seventy-five minus forty minus forty. Now we're only subtracting tens, so our trick is going to be we're going to have thirty tens, three tens left, and we still have those five ones. We move up to second page. <clears throat> Solving these, 42, really want to see some pictures here. So you got to show your work for these. That's what the boxes are for. 42, I'm going to draw a number, I'm going to draw quick tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and then just draw the 7 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this all adds up to 9, so it's 49. And this 24 plus 70 is 10, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the 70 is 7 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now we have, count all the tens first. That's 90, right? And then we still have these four ones, 94. 49 minus 2. It's going to look a lot like A because we're, now we're going to cross out. This is subtraction. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm going to cross out two of these. And that leaves me with, right, I had nine ones here. Now I only have seven ones left. So I have the four tens, that's 40, and then the seven ones, 47. That's just how you show your work. You gotta have, you gotta show this. Now some of these, like this one right here, 98. You might just this one. 
I think I think you should still draw it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tens. You can count. You know it's nine tens because it's ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seven, eight, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's ninety-eight. And then you cross out twenty. That's two tens. There. So now I have seven tens. That's seventy. And then this is still eight because I didn't cross out any ones for twenty. It's seventy-eight. Just like that. And the last one's here. We've got just some more to solve here, but what we have is a little mental trick you might notice. We're looking at adding some ones. So these work as long as the two ones place digits don't add up to more than nine, you, this will work. We have a ten, and we have six plus three, six ones plus three ones. So six ones plus three ones is nine. Make a little number bond like that. Uh, actually, let me start that. Let me start this over. This is what I, this is what you should have here. Is the sixteen? We'll make a little number bond out of it. This will probably be the easier way to write it out. Sixteen is a ten and a six. <clears throat> and you might recognize this from first grade, right? And then we're going to add the ones. That's six and a three. That's nine. And we have ten and nine. 19. And so for the 13 and the 6, we have 10 and 3. And look, we have 6 and 3 again, except now this time it's 3 and 6. It's still 9. It's 19. Now for a mental trick, you might know I we you got to have these, the number bonds and this work shown on your page. But the mental trick is to recognize the ones digits and then add the tens to the total of the ones digits. So 37 is 30 and 7. This is really just, it helps you see, can you, can you take 3 away from 7? Can you take 3 ones away from 7 ones? You can, because 7 minus 3 is 4. You can do that. So you're going to have 4 left here. And that's, remember, this is like the... A little bit like it might remind you of take from 10. We have, now we have 30 and 4 left. 34. And then we get a little messy here. There. Now the 37 is 30 and 7, just like we had above. And now we're subtracting 4 from. The seven, so it's seven minus four. We're gonna have three left there, and so we'll have thirty. We still have those three tens at thirty, and then three left in the ones place. Oops, it's not thirty. We have thirty-three, and we have more of these coming up here. Uh, but th th this, this is gonna be uh, C is gonna be addition. So we have. 20 and 6, and we're going to add, it's going to be easier here to add the 10s. 20 and 70 is 90, so now we have 96, and this is going to work out, 70 and 6, and you add the 20, it's going to be easier to add the 20 to the 70 first, so that's 90. Oops. It's 90 and 6, 96. And you're looking here, we're, got, we're just adding 10s, right? So you might just look at the digits and say, oh, 90 and 50. That's 140, and you're going to add the 7. Oh, wait, that's subtraction. That's subtraction. Let's start over with that one taking away five tens. So, uh, uh, 97. And then 90 minus 50 is 40. And we still have the seven left, so we're gonna count it too. We can't just forget it, 47. So if you draw it, you could draw this in quick tens. You don't have to use the number bonds like this. If you just really don't get 
the number bonds yet, you can draw the 97, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, tens, and 7 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then cross out 5 of the tens, right? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, cross these guys out. And there you have your 40 and your 7, 47. You can do that too. You can do that for all of them. And 97 minus 40, 57. And again here, use your number bond strategy, 90 and 7, or use the quick tens. But you got to show, show some work here either way.